tour of Watopia stage one and here we go on this group ride guys welcome back to the channel this is Cadman Cycling and I'm excited about this one tour of Watopia Zwift really gets to show off what they've created here riding with 300 of my closest friends look at those ride-ons as we get started guys this is awesome this is all about community this is about what Zwift has created so for those who aren't familiar Zwift has many worlds that you can ride in. A lot of them are modeled after real world cities. You can ride through Central Park in New York City. You can ride through downtown London, uh, the UCI World's Course in Richmond. You can ride through Paris. There's many different real world options, but on top of that, Zwift has created this virtual world that they call Watopia. And it's a huge island in the middle of the ocean that has everything. Right now we're riding through a desert. Watopia has a volcano. It has a jungle. It has mountains. It has a beach downtown. It really has everything, guys. And this tour of Watopia is Zwift's chance to show off what they've built here. So a little bit of background on the tour. This is stage one. I think stage one is available for five days in one hour increments. So every single hour they're starting one of these new rides. And that's amazing thinking this ride has over 300 people. And next hour there's gonna be another ride with that same amount of people. It's crazy. Uh, just the following that they've created within Zwift. But so this is stage one of five. This one is called Winding Way. So it's a good, uh, pretty flat route, good way to get this tour started. And there's different ride options that you can choose within stage one as we cross through the start finish banner, um, making our way through the desert. That's where we just crossed will also be our finish line in a few minutes. But there's multiple different ride options in stage one. There's group A, which is for the longer ride. In that case, that route for stage one is the Magnificent 8, which is 17.8 miles long, includes the reverse hilly KOM. A little less climbing actually than what I'm doing right here. What I'm doing is group B, the standard ride, and this is through the Sand and Sequoias route. It's about 14 miles long, 480 feet of climbing. Uh, the longer ride had 430, but is about four miles longer, so a little bit of a tougher ride but like I said both are pretty flat good ways to get this tour started there are two other groups that you can join in stage one there's group C which is a woman only ride that goes through Watopia's waistband and then there's also group E which is a rookie ride so for those who are newer to Zwift or haven't done these group rides or races before it's really nice that they offer that option uh, for those who are just getting started within the game so like I said, this is the standard ride, Sand and Sequoias. And another cool thing about this tour of Watopia is you get double XP points throughout this entire route. Uh, so generally when you finish each mile, I believe you receive 30 XP points. In this case, during this ride, I'll be receiving 60. Same thing goes for those on the metric system, I think 20 XP points each kilometer now goes to 40 XP points. So if you're trying to level up, this is a great way to do it. Uh, getting to ride through the tour of Watopia with so many other riders. And just a little bit more about the route. Uh, there's one KOM that we just started here. It's called the Titans Grove KOM. 1.6 miles long, 2.2% uh, grade. So really, the first half of the route was all flat going through the desert. We passed through the Fuego Flat Sprint twice. Uh, so that's where we kind of started going through that banner. And then that will also be the final sprint to the finish. And then just after the halfway point is where we hit this KOM. Uh, not too tough, a little punchy as we're going through this Titans Grove area. There's a lot of rollers, uh, so it really helps to understand how to ride those and carry the momentum on the downhill to take you most of the way up uh, the next roller. But before this, uh, joining this group ride, I had already completed a race, so I was kind of on tired legs a little bit, uh, just 
enjoying myself here, uh, trying to be part of this tour and join this stage. I mean, for almost 400 people, that's, it's amazing what Zwift has become. And this is really such a great chance for them to show off everything they have. So here we're getting close to the top of the KOM, uh, just over four miles left. So stage one is available for a couple more days, but looking forward, uh, stage two is next. It will start over the weekend. And just as I, I got to the top of that KOM, I did make a little bit of a mistake here as I, there, I have a few guys in front of me. I catch them. I think I want to draft off them as we're going down. This is kind of the descent after that KOM at negative 5% grade. And I kind of try to do a super tuck. Uh, you can see I no more RPMs, no more watts. Um, hoping I can draft off them, but just the the elevation wasn't wasn't enough here. So I was kind of being lazy, tired after that long KOM. Uh, but I ended up getting dropped here. So again, it's just a group ride. It's all all for fun. Uh, people still take it seriously though, and I. I'm definitely also putting out as much effort as I can. The only difference between uh, the race is that here after after the group ride is done, uh, those results can't be seen within the Zwift Companion app. So normally you can see where you place and your average watts and everything. On a group ride, you can see your place during the ride, but once it's complete, uh, that's it. So getting back to what I was saying earlier, stage two, comes up in a few days, that's called the core climbs. So the standard route will be going up the volcano climb. Uh, that's one of my favorite routes within Watopia. Nice punchy climb up the volcano, but really not a whole lot of climbing overall. Uh, I think it's about 14 miles as well. So I'm looking forward to that one. Just half a mile left here. Uh, got a nice group near the finish as we make our way down the home stretch. And for everyone watching this video, it's not too late to join this tour at the time I'm releasing. Uh, there's still a couple days in stage one, but also if you miss a stage, there is a makeup week at the end. So you can make up any of the stages you miss just so you can get all five complete. Uh, so they're really helping everyone uh, work with everyone's schedule. So here we are 0.2 miles left. Uh, again, not a race, but everyone's competitive at the end. This one guy goes off the front. Uh, everyone else is kind of slow to go, so I'm kind of hanging back, but then eventually I'll, I'll push it, put in some watts, see if I can catch this guy. Um, again, I had done a race earlier, so not quite the watts output that I would like to see, but enough to end at the start of the, or at the front of that group, albeit in 200th place. But guys, this one was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. Can't wait for stage two as always. Thanks for listening. This is Cadman Cycling, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.